Okay, it's 8.21, morning of the weigh-ins, and I've definitely made it. I weighed about 112.8, I think, when I checked on my home scale, so I can't possibly miss it. i um, just going to grab all my liquids. This is some strawberry basil lemonade. This is BCAA's cranberry juice and cherry juice. And then... Coconut water, so let's take this big one. Oh, I drank half of them. I started drinking a teeny bit last night because I was I made weight last night already. We'll take this guy with the cacao and the good belly for some quick probiotics since I haven't been eating my usual yogurt. Okay, I'm gonna put it in this really fabulous bag that I bought randomly when I bought salt and straw ice cream on a really hot day and I needed a cooler so I went to the Rite Aid and I bought that because it was the prettiest thing there was. Anyway, and then for quick snacks I'm going to bring these lemon poppy seed breakfast biscuits that I just found and haven't had because um, I love lemon poppy seed. This organic rice strawberry yogurt. I should, it's probably way too close. And then hot monkey pineapple popcorn with cardamom, my favorite spice, and pepper vodka. Pepper vodka from Portland. So, there's a little food for me in the car when I run away as fast as I can. 822. So I'm gonna go get some cash to pay for the lifters card because I haven't got one yet. And I figured that will probably be easier in case they don't take cards because they never have cash. Um, I probably won't record anything there because I'm a pussy. I'll see you soon when I get back and I get to eat carbs all day and have the day off just for this. 22 lifters. I've been so afraid for nothing. It's He said it's probably going to be over by about one. Um, so... That just sounds like a piece of cake. Um, it's kind of good that that's, this gets to be my first one, that it's not a huge thing. And there should be, you know, lots of room for my friends to come spectate if they want. Um, I weighed in at 112 something with clothes on because it was just Chris Duffin in the room. <laughs> um, and then, because uh, I was thinking I'd have to do it in my underwear. Uh, yeah, took five seconds. Now I'm out of here. And I felt like there was something I want to say. He was like, I told, I did tell him that it was my first meet, and he's like, well, don't worry if you don't sleep tonight. I'm like, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. <laughs> so that was sweet. Um, okay. <laughs>
So, for the women, all of our women uh, competed in the uh, raw category today. So we've got uh, Cassidy winning the 87 point, or sorry, the uh, 51.5 kilo class. I'm going to change all these weights to pounds. Like magic. There we go. 140. <laughs> Four pound, 105 pound bench, and 193 pound deadlift for a 441 pound throw. Woo! Woo! So that was my first meet. Uh, I'd like to thank my coaches because if it wasn't for them, I might not have even done it. And I don't think, no, I know I wouldn't have been as prepared as I was. It made it a lot easier for sure. Um, and especially thanks to Nigel because he was the one that was like, <laughs> I said I was considering it and I was feeling very wishy-washy, but he was like, just do it. Just, there's just no question, just do it. And so because of that, I definitely, made, it made me dive in. Um, and it was a really good first meet. It was small and that really did make it way easier to manage and the audience was way smaller than the last one that they had in April that had like a hundred lifters or something that I went and watched a bit of and it was definitely way more intimate. That one was way more intimidating than mine. Um, and everybody was really nice, which everyone said they would be. And so I kind of expected it, but you know, it's good that it was confirmed. And I, uh, it's funny. I had to go first for, Every round there was, well, for there was two flights, so for every round in my flight, and for the very first lift of the day, I was first, um, because of course my weights were the lightest, uh, but that wasn't actually that scary. Um, the thing that was most nerve-wracking at the meet was picking my attempts, even though Nigel had made me a nice little sheet where... I had my openers, and then depending on how that felt, I would have two or three options, and then two or three options for the third attempt. Um, and I think that that's just something that comes with practice, especially practice at meets, since it's like, I, I mean, I obviously, I went nine for nine, so I did, I was fine picking my things like I I went for the highest attempt for everything except for my very last deadlift and I probably should have gone for the heaviest attempt for the deadlift too but I kind of psyched myself out on that one um since it's just it's deadlifts are something that's really hard for me to tell where I'd be at since I do sumo at least right now I do sumo so there's not really grinding I, I don't know. Um, with the other ones, I felt, I think I felt pretty confident, but it was still really nerve-wracking. So I think that that's just something that, you know, comes with time, practice. Um, and then the other thing that I did really realize was that when I go up there, when you go up there, like, it's really fast. And... I mean, it's kind of, it's obvious, like, you have one attempt and it goes really fast. You don't have, like, your first rep to feel things out and kind of modify on your second rep. And there's, thankfully, I didn't really pay attention to, you know, like, the music or the audience or the people or anything like that. I was so focused on just making sure to listen to the commands, which I almost kind of forgot to do one time, but I did pretty good most of the time. Um is that, you know, I didn't, I, I couldn't think about what I was doing while I was lifting. So, because I, a lot of the technique is not really, like bench was pretty okay because my bench technique I feel is the most ingrained and I don't have to think about, like I'm not having to constantly cue myself to like keep my shoulders tight and stuff like that. Like I have to really constantly cue myself for, and think about what I'm doing for, squat and deadlift um so that was really noticeable because it's like my mind was <laughs> just goes blank so 
thankfully my technique is dialed in enough that I was able to do that but I, I, I know that if I was doing attempts that were really, really, really hard for me, because I probably had a little bit more in me for each of those, if you were going to test my absolute 100% max, um, but I would have had, I don't think I necessarily would have got it, because I would have had to have been able to, like, really think through everything that I was doing, and... I wasn't doing that, so my technique was good enough to do thoughtlessly to get me those lifts, if that makes any sense. So that's something that was a big, not really surprise, but something like, oh, okay, like, I need to make sure that when, if I do another meet, um, that I have that dialed in a bit more, especially if I want to push for harder weights. Um, but yeah. I would say overall everything was a success. I did water cut for it, even though there was obviously really no point. I mean, beyond all the reasons why everyone tells you not to do it for your first meet, or not to do it if you're not going to set records, which I probably never ever will, unless I'm setting master's records someday. Um, but uh, I wanted to do it just because it would it gave me something to think about before, because I'm just kind of that type of person that the more things I have to think about it, the less stressed out I feel, and, you know, something to do, and it's, I just wanted the experience and to, like, know how my body would react, so when I started, I was about 117, 116-ish, um, and then I, I was still cutting my calories that week, too, so it wasn't like it was pure water cut, um, but I ended up weighing in with some clothes on at 112 so obviously that was very successful and then I ate a whole lot Friday after weigh-ins and Saturday so Saturday morning I uh, weighed in at it was like 116 or 117 I definitely got it all back in there um, and then by the end of the weekend after everything I ate I weighed like 120 um, so my future plans are I'm going to do some hypertrophy for a while. I don't know for how long exactly, uh, but I definitely have a lot of muscle I could gain. Uh, just work on getting stronger. I might do another meet next year sometime. I don't think I'll do the one in October. I feel like that's really too soon. So we'll see. I'm not sure. I did the one, so I've done it, but I guess I kind of feel like until I've progressed a certain amount, there's no point in just doing it just because. So I have a lot of space to grow before it kind of feels like there's a moment where I need to be like, all right, it's time to go test myself. So I don't feel like there's any rush or anything. Um. So yeah, thanks for watching.